There's a couple of preference settings that I recommend you change to maximize your use of Premiere and have it behave the way that you want. Let me cover those first. To change preference settings, you go up to the Premiere Pro menu, go down to Settings, and there is a flock of them. They're listed by categories on the left and individual settings on the right. And there are six that I recommend you change. The first one is Color. In the Color, you want to turn on Display Color Management. What this does is this gives us more accurate color in the best case and makes no damage to our color in the worst case. This is a, a win regardless of how you have this set. What this allows us to do is more accurately see the color space that video uses, which is not the same color space as still images use, which is not the same color space as our computer uses. There's lots of different ways of defining color, and we want to look at the color that the way the, way the video is going to look so we need to turn this on. The next is under media here. I want to disable automatically refresh growing files. A growing file is a file that you're editing while it's still being recorded. Think sports highlights. The second quarter is playing, but you want to pull a highlight from the first quarter. You use a growing file to record that so you can be editing from it while the file continues to grow to be recorded. The problem is, if you're not recording growing files, Premiere is always going out to the hard disk to ask if there's anything new, and you don't need to have it distracted or take time away from you to ask that question. So we turn off growing files. The next is the media cache. Media cache is fine, except what you want to do is about once a month, you want to remember to go to media cache and delete any media cache files about once a month. This keeps them from growing like Topsy and filling your hard disk with files that you're not going to need. The next is memory. Premiere is a, a RAM hog. It uses a lot of memory. And so what you want to do here is you want to reserve between 6 and 12 gigabytes for other applications, presuming you have that much, a minimum of 6 I've got 24 just because I've got way too much to waste up here. I've got 64 gigs on my system. And Premiere works perfectly fine with 24 gig, 36 gig, 40 gig, somewhere in there. But you want to make sure that you give it plenty of room to work. The next is playback, Mercury Transmit. Mercury Transmit is a technology that Premiere uses to feed a pure video signal, not a computer signal, but a pure video signal, to either a video monitor or a computer monitor, so that I can turn a second monitor into nothing but a video display. It doesn't need to be on unless you are feeding a standalone video signal, not just simply the second screen of Premiere, but a video signal to a monitor. And we'll just turn that off because Premiere doesn't need to waste the resources to make that happen. Finally, under Timeline, this is an important one to turn on, Display Out of Sync Indicators for Unlinked Clips. If you record video and audio on a camera and you bring that clip in and for a variety of reasons they get out of sync, if that's turned off, you'll never know about it. By turning this preference on, it puts up a little warning saying the audio and video are out of sync, which you always want to know about because otherwise their lips will be moving and no sound comes out. Finally, under trim, you want to turn the top one on, allow selection tool to choose ripple and roll. What this means, and we'll see it when we talk about trimming in a few minutes, depending upon the position of your cursor, it will automatically select the correct trim tool. When this is turned off, you have to hold down a modifier key, command or control, in order to get that same kind of switching. Much better to just have Premiere do it on its own. It always guesses correctly. It's easy to use, and this just makes your editing go a whole lot faster. Once you've made these changes, click OK, and we're back to the interface. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at the essential workflow inside Adobe Premiere Pro version 25. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 375. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and 
time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks 